DNS is the most important feature that makes Active Directory work. And when I go into the DNS console, you can see the forward and reverse lookups and everything else that we've set up. However, if DNS has a problem, that's when you need to know how to troubleshoot it using the Event Log Viewer. So in Server Manager, I go to Tools and I choose Event Viewer, and it's going to show me all the different logs. Now, the DNS logs are not going to show up under Windows Logs. They're going to show up under Applications and Services. And then wherever DNS is installed, you'll see a special DNS server log. Here are the logs for this particular server. And if it's filled with a lot of red circles with an X through them or critical, those types of things, then you know you might be having some problems with DNS. Here we can see most of the logs here are simply informational. And it's just letting us know that those changes were made in case we're wondering when this was done and if it was authorized. Now, if I go down, we can see a warning as well. In this case, I went ahead and added a second domain controller. And at this point, it's saying it's waiting for the initial synchronization that the directory has been completed as far as syncing between the two domain controllers. So that could be an issue. Now, after several more hours, if it still can't synchronize, then we're going to get a new log file that says that there is an error that uh, could be going on. It might even show up as a critical error. Now let's take a look at the directory service because that's what it's referencing here, that there may be a problem. And take a look, there's a warning here saying that there's an attempt to establish a link for this particular server and it's just not making it. So the Active Directory replication just can't happen. But take a look at something here. This happens a lot with new servers. Sometimes the time zone gets messed up or the time itself is just off. So you can see that the time it says is 5.09 a.m. However, the time is much different than that right now. Let's take a look at the time on the other server. On the other server, we can see that the time is 8.51. So it's likely that our time is just off, and the event logs told us that this is a problem. You can't be more than five minutes off, otherwise you're not going to be able to synchronize between two different domain controllers. I've gone ahead and corrected the time, and you can see now it's within one minute of the other server, so we should be good. So what I'm going to do now is type a new command to synchronize the databases. So I'll type in rep admin slash sync all. And this is good news. It now says that there are no more errors, that the synchronization is working. And that's just one example of how we can use DNS event logs to troubleshoot any issues with Active Directory and any other types of name resolution.